Hi everyone, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up, and I would like to invite you to watch my video tonight. Um, I'm setting up my iPad right now, making sure that you all are going to be able to see me. And um, so I got that all done, I do believe. Looks good to me, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I want to make sure that we've got it all going good before I get any further. I am so sorry. But um, anyway, I have a what I call my Trio of Circles card that I'm going to do for you. Um, I'm going to be doing this card right here. This is just a one I did for like a masculine card. And I'll be showing those to you. But first, I'd like to ask you if... Um, you're watching my video if you could hit the share button so other crafters like you would be able to be able to access my video um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video a thumbs down if you don't but please comment in the comments and let me know what I can do better to um, do this video and like I said I'm going to do my circle of trios or uh, trio of circles card and here's my PDF which you can find on my Facebook group page which is called um, Stamp Crazy VIP and I have all my um, PDFs in there of all the videos that I've ever made on here on YouTube that I've done cards for so you can go over there and pick those up and um, join that group if you would like every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock I do a video a either technique or fun fold or like my circle series um, the videos that you see here on YouTube are the same that I do Tuesdays at 10 o'clock, but that is a Facebook Live video. Um, here's my host code. If you see something that you would like to order from me, um, you can go to my store, RitaHolmes.StampinUp.net. Use this host code unless you have an order over $150, and then don't use the host code so that you can get all the rewards for yourself. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, we have our paper sale going on. It is going to be ending August 2nd, which is Monday. So you have a few more days to get that in. There's nine different papers on sale. And um, you'll be able to access that through my webpage if you would like to see what those are. Um, I am going to show you this paper here that I'm going to be using. It's called... Um, pattern party and it is actually a hostess gift that you can buy with your rewards from having over a hundred fifty dollar order but it has like 48 sheets of paper all black and white on one side with prints on the other and it is really pretty paper so I thought I'd take advantage of it show you some of the stuff that they have with this paper and um, so we will get started with the card. But that's all the different papers that they have. There's like 48 of them. So that's that's a fun pack of paper. I have some of my stuff done for this card tonight. So that you can, um, you know, we won't be taking up as much time for to see some of the things that I know that you know how to do. So anyway, I'm going to take this card away. It is my masculine card. I've done it all with the papers from, from In Good Taste. Um, except for the happy birthday which comes from the sweets and treats that's out of our new catalog which goes live on the third um, the mini catalog and this will be in it and I use this little happy birthday right here which I thought was really cute fits nicely on this little half inch piece of cardstock and um, I just brought the card to the inside and I just glued another piece of paper right there so when you open it up kind of brings your outside to the inside right here. Now the card that we are going to be making tonight will be this one. And there again I use the sweets and treats and I use the Meadow Moments embossing folder which is one of the small embossing folders like this. And we're going to be using that tonight. 
We are also going to be using from the pinned flower set, we're going to be using this border right here, which makes the border on this piece of cardstock back here. And we will also be using the circles from the layering circles. And we will be using, um, I call this the large set of circles and this the small set of circles. From the small set, you'll be using the second from the smallest. And from the large set, you would be using the second from the smallest. And they just nest in here and give you a nice little border right here. So that is what I used for my card. Now I will tell you, this is a card that I had pinned and it just showed me how long I've been pinning cards. Um, it was way down in my cards that I, I keep, you know, my um, like folders that I keep all my stuff in for um, Pinterest that I name different things. And um, this is way down in there. And this was actually a card, something like a card that was made back in 2013. But they made a bigger card. They made it like a 6x6 and that. But I like cards that fit in A2 envelopes since I am in the United States and that's what we use. So um, I kind of size the card down for that. So I will tell you the measurements of everything as I go along. And um, if you want, you can write them down. Or like I said, you can go over and get the PDF from my Facebook page. Uh, first, I have a piece of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and I'm going to fold that over and just crease it. And if it's first time watching, you see I use a Pampered Chef pot scraper because that's what I really, really like to use. It's easy for me to handle. It's nice and smooth right here and thin. Really folds my cards, so that's what I use. And I did use, because I have it, just to see, I've never really used a lot of the thick basic white cardstock. And so this is a piece of the thick, which is a little bit sturdier than the regular. And everything else I'm doing tonight is done on regular. So what I have first, what we're going to do is we're going to take the piece, and I've already um, embossed it and this is a piece of cardstock which measures two by five and a quarter which I'm going to glue right here on the right hand side so I'm going to go ahead I thought I lost my glue I put it in with the pens and pencils instead of in my little glue thing don't know what I was thinking when I did that So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm just going to put it over here on the right hand side of my card. And let that dry for a minute. And what I'm going to do is we need to cut our piece for our, or I've got it cut, but we need to do the die cutting for our little scalloped edge here. This piece of paper measures two and three quarter by five and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of pattern paper, the DSP, that measures two and a quarter by five and a quarter, and it's going to go over here. So I'm just going to barely cut this edge off to give us um, our little scalloped look there. And then, it, of course, it has the little stitching right here on this side. So it just gives a little bit of dimension to our card. So let me bring in my mini. Stampin' Embossed Machine, because that's the, just what we need, and we need plates, and yes, I do have new plates, but I like my little worn plate. I use it all the time. One of these days, I will change over to my new plates, but I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this right here. I hope you can see all of this. And I'm going to take my die with my scalloped edges towards the outer edge of what I want to do. And I'm going to lay this really close, kind of center it. And I'm going to lay it close to that edge, getting it as straight as I can. And I put a piece of washi tape on there to kind of hold that down. And then I'll take my top plate and put over that. And we're going to sandwich that through, okay? So let's just run it through. 
my squeaky little machine. Fold this up. We're not going to need it anymore. You're going to hear clang, clang. And then here's the edge that I took off, which is just really a little edge. So, um, let me show you. On the inside of my card here, I did the three circles. I forgot to show you I did that. I could put part of this down here underneath the card and put this on top just as more of a decoration going either way. Um, or we can just pitch it, you know. But you could use it for an accent piece if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to take my die off. And I'm going to peel that real easily so I don't um, tear my card. And I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to throw that away. Put my die back where it goes. And see how my paper fits in here. Should fit fine with my measurements. So this is how it goes. Just like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue this piece on here. And if you'll notice on this card, I have these little designs going down on this one. I'm going to put them going up on this one just to be a little bit different. I like to make them look a little different sometimes. I'm going to pick this up and make sure it's kind of even everywhere around there. And then just press it down. And therefore, I have a nice little border around there. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my card back in. And what I'm going to do on the back of here is I'm going to add some dimensionals. Because I want that to be a little bit raised. So there we go. We'll just peel these off real quick. I like to stick to my fingers, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of a white border. As you can see, if I press that down, there's a little bit of a white border. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a white border. I'm going to line up my bottom edge. So that my white doesn't show down here. And I'm just going to lay that down. And I have some green showing here. So I'm going to cut that off. And I hope it doesn't take so much of my border away. But it might. I hope not. It did. I took my border away up there. Let's see if I can get that back off. Probably not. We'll look and see. And if we can't, nope, we're going to leave it on. We're just going to leave it like that. That's fine. I should have measured that a little bit more before, but it's not going to be bad in the whole scheme of things. I already cut my circles out. So I have four of them. One of them is going to go on the inside of my card, which I'll go ahead and glue that down. And I just put a little bit of glue inside there. And we'll just glue that right there. Then I'm going to bring these in and I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom. Okay? And I'm going to glue those two down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, before I put that middle one on, I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. And I'm stamping it in Poppy Parade because that is one of the colors in the paper. So we'll take and stamp that. Make sure I get it good and inked. I'm going to bring that in. 
and I'm going to stamp closer to my right edge than to my left edge. And therefore I'm going to press hard and get my happy birthday. There we go. I used, like I said, I used the Poppy Parade because it is one of the colors in the papers. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to make me a little um, notched like banner look here. So I'm just going to take I clip that out. I just go up the center. And there we have a banner. Okay. So what I'm going to see now I'm going to kind of lay this here. I'm not going to put it in first because I want to see where I want this. And if I need to take off some of the... Because I'm going to angle it, I think. Or do I want to lift up that edge and maybe put it under there? I think that's what I'll do. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take another dimensional. Or pop dot. That's what I called it earlier. Put that on the end by the little tag piece. Put a little glue up there. I'm going to lift this up just a hair and stick this right there. I'm not going to stick it down yet. I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to bring this out a little bit more and down because I want to offset that a little bit. And that's what I think I want to do. I'm going to put that right there. So I'm going to press. I'm going to take my piece of backing off. And I'm just going to put that down. So we have that. Then I'm going to take and put some. I hope I have another one on there. Dimensionals on this. And the reason I call this a circle series card is because my focal points are circles. So there we go with our happy birthday. Now on this card, I used the um, playing with pattern dots and then just put these on my card here for the centers because if you'll notice on the inside, I'll show you the centers of the flowers are a dark blue. So I thought I would just use these yellow ones to make it a little bit more muted. And I think what I'm going to do maybe with this next one is use some maybe some rhinestones. Let's see. This is my goodie. My little goodie bag. I can use there's some, but let's see what else we have. I want to make sure we have enough. We want to have plenty. Some of these are old from what we used to carry. I need to clean them out is what I need to do. But I have it. I just try to use up everything that I have. So that's what we will do. Oh, let's get all those in there. I wish we carried these wide cases still because that makes it so nice for your embellishments and that. Okay, let's bring this in and I'm going to bring in my pick tool. Let's close up our glue. And I'm going to bring in my pick tool. And I'm just going to use these as rhinestones. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in the center of my flowers. Well, I'm gonna to have to find me one more. I have more in the other room, so I thought I had them all in here, but evidently not. So 
Let me just go through here just a second. That was all big ones. Yeah, this has got some tiny ones on it. I use so many embellishments that I have to I have to keep everything to be able to utilize them all. And there we go. We have our rhinestones on there now. So it kind of just adds to the card, gives it some shimmer. And there we have our inside where you can write in it. And here is I lost my cord. Here is the card that I already had made, which you can see the difference. This one shines more. This is more subtle. And that's, but that's the card. They're so easy to make. Um, this piece right here, I forgot to tell you, was half inch by two and a half inch. And then I told you what my circles were. And, um, I think that's all the measurements that we have, the two and three quarters, and you just take off barely an edge there. You can use any kind of border die on here, any kind of paper. You know, I did this one very plain because I thought it'd be good for masculine, and I used it out of that in good taste. It has a lot of masculine papers. This paper here is the back side of this, and this is just one that looks like plaster, actually just swirled with a little bit of color. And then I use the black as my accent. And then just my strip here. But you could do these with all kinds of DSP if you were wanting to use up a lot of your DSP. And that's why I've been showing a lot of these cards. That you can um, use your focal point as your DSP. And then just put a sentiment with it and that. And it just shows up so nice. So that's the card I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again in, um, in about a week, probably, when I get to my next set of cards to do. You all have a great weekend, and we will talk to you later. Bye.